All right, this is gonna be a very quick video on like how to pace a climb, how to look into the future for a hill climb, how you're gonna ride the climb, what gearing, etc., etc. So generally what I do is I go on the CTT website, try and decode the mystifying codes, and finally figure out what the hill is. So this hill here is Belmont Hill Junction to Junction. Now this isn't the exact hill climb one, the exact hill climb one is about 10 seconds less. But anyway, I then look at the average gradient, look at the time, and sort of try and figure out what type of climb this will be. So the guy who won last year, I think, got about 250. So I'll probably be about maybe 20 seconds behind that, I hope, maybe 10. But anyway, it'll be around three minute effort. So I roughly know, like, you know, what if that's going to suit me, if it's good training for nationals, if it's the sort of hill climb I want to do. So anyway, then I've decided, you know, it is. I then look at obviously the distance, the gradient, and look, uh, and then obviously look at the map, and you can see here there's a bit of a dip halfway through, and then basically steepens off. So that sort of gives you an incline of how you want to ride it. Probably want to pace it relatively even, maybe a little bit harder at the last part because it seems steeper. Uh, and then I, if I can, I try and ride the um, ride the climb. So this is just it's sort of ignore the footage; it's sort of irrelevant. Um, but basically, uh, I would say, yeah. So, right. Uh, you, so you can see here, uh, basically I'm just outwards to Bristol Uni Cycling Club, so they decided to go relatively hard up it. So I would recommend if you want to do a proper like intro on the climb, I would try and go quite hard, just because then you know the timings, you can remember the sensations, you can practice your gear changes. But we're not going mega at this moment in time. We step it up a lot at the end, but now you can see we're not going mega. So I missed out the first little bit, but it's a little bit steep and not too bad. But this is sort of the flat section I was talking about. So here... You want to be in the saddle trying to get as air as possible because you'll be going like 30 plus k's an hour for sure um, on this part here. So that's where you want to not not hold back. But I mean, for this climb, I'm going to try and average over 450 watts. And like on that point there, maybe I'll be at more like below 400 and then really surge at the last part, which is quite steep. Um, but it's just important on these climbs, like really to concentrate on like the best line. Like this road is very smooth, so you don't need to think too much about potholes. But on this moment here, you want to be hugging that left shoulder as much as possible to try and get the shortest line. On this road, it's quite busy as well, so it's, you, you have to realize that like, you're not going to be able to go on the other side of the road. Uh, the hill climb I did last week, BC Walcott, that was sort of half closed road, so I really did go on the other side of the road. If there's any sort of little channel that looks smoother or any potholes, you really want to just like check that out. Uh, then also the other thing is just to think about mentally, like where are you going to be a minute and a half in? Where is it going to suffer? So on a three minute climb, the first minute is going to be bad, not too bad. One to two minutes is where it's going to really hurt. And then the, probably the last minute or so won't be as bad just because you will have that sort of I'm finishing. Um, and also depends where the crowd is. But generally you're going to think, where am I going to suffer? Like where, where will the suffering end? So this point here, I can imagine in the, this hill climb, this part here is going to be horrible. It's a dead straight road. There's nothing to think about. No technical things. You're probably going to be out of the saddle here just trying to just hit as much watts as possible. And it's just going to be absolutely horrible. Um, this bit is where you mentally need to dig in. And if you know the climb, you're like, right, we're going around the corner. You can then just process it a little bit better and realize what you want to do. Um, I'm not, not that good at pre-riding climbs. I always get too excited and not concentrate. But really, you want to just like think about every little thing like... Where is the best line? What here? Like, so on the, if I was racing, I'd really try and be on the inside of this road. Like, obviously, there's, there's a traffic. It's not always safe. But, like, if there's not, then do it. Like, go try and cut those corners as much as possible. Um, around corners, if it's really steep on the inside and looks a bit dodgy, then don't do it. Go, go on the outside. Um, so you can see here, like, this is going to be the last part. You can see the finish. So this bit here is actually probably going to be the easiest part because you just have that, like, mental or strength of like, oh, I'm going to finish. So this bit here is 10%. So in terms of gearing, I think I'm going to be big ring, probably hopefully 20k an hour at this point, more or less. And the speed is a little bit slow, I think. Um, so I think it's basically a big ring climb. Um, so yeah, that is, that's my thoughts, what I'm going through on this hill climb, how I'm going to pace it. I'm going to pace it relatively even, about 400 50 watts to four, 500 watts, probably around that range. Um, try not to go over 500 watts often and try not to go below maybe 420. Maybe only on the very shallower part, you're gonna watts just naturally gonna drop. But genuinely, you wanna keep pretty even on this one. Um, so I hope this did help. If you are gonna do this one, it's the University of Bristol Cycling Club Hill Climb on Belmont Hill. Uh, I think it's like next Saturday or next Sunday and it's next weekend. Um, so yeah, that's sort of my tips on like how to Right. I also find if you can find a race video like this, for instance, with the gradient and the speed and the power, that really helps to visualize it. 
just so that you know the climb before you get there because sometimes like you're not going to be able to go to a place to watch like to look at the, to ride the climb beforehand so it's useful if you sort of know what's in store roughly before you get there and then when you get there it just sort of like re um it just helps you sort of reabsorb everything and just you go through again you sort of revise the climb you're like right that's how i'm gonna ride it so anyway cheers for watching hope you did enjoy this video i've got a hill climb tomorrow which is the hinton um the, it's the seven road club hill hill climb it's like two minutes long so it's not really gonna suit me that well but i'm gonna give it a go and see what um power we can do hopefully 500 watts for two minutes but that's gonna be a total order so anyway cheers for watching and i'll see you in the next video